Okay, so the horn tubules are meant to bear the weight at a certain angle in this hoof capsule here. You see that? But when the wall grows, okay, you wind up instead of your heel hitting here, as the wall grows down and forward, your heel's hitting right there. Well, this changes the whole weight-bearing dynamics of the foot. And you might start out with the horn tubules and the hoof capsule being at the right angle like this and bearing the weight of the inner foot properly. But after time, as the heels and the wall and everything grows and the weight gets shoved forward where the horse is landing up here, then these horn tubules, just like this here, you see how it moves? These horn tubules start doing this. Like that. Okay, now do you see where the heel is? On this foot here. Okay, and on the hip, on the, uh, blah, blah, blah. The tubules are at this angle right now, and the foot is just right. But if the foot was allowed to get long and the horse bear weight on a, on a heel that was long and forward for a while, what happens is eventually the foot starts growing like this and it can get clear like that your heels can actually be this long okay because the horn tubule that starts growing right up here it grows down to here that's where the end of the heel should be okay but slowly over time these things get bent forward and crushed so that a heel that was like this and that long winds up being like that, run forward and that long. Now, um, we're looking, we're focusing kind of on the heel here, but I want you to see something else. What about this horn tubule that was right here? Okay, now it should have ended right about there, but instead, what has happened? It has slowly started growing forward like this, and now the horn tubule, instead of being here, is up here. Now... Think about the weight dynamics this is having. Okay? Now, we know that... Right, I didn't set my clock. We know that... Okay, all of this here is connected to this foot, to this foot right here. Okay? So, if this is connected to your foot right here, and it starts doing this number... What is it going to do? It's connected right here. It's going to pull your bulbs back like this. And so you'll see a lot of horses, instead of having a nice rounded bulb area, they have a wall that is too long here, and the horn tubules have gone back like this, and the, the lateral cartilage here is encased and very hard and rigid looking. Okay. Now, another thing that happens. That's just one scenario. This, this is what you would call a run forward foot. I mean, there's a combination of things that can happen. One thing that can happen is that instead of, okay, as the wall grows down, okay, instead of getting weighted and gradually you know, underrun the heels like so. Another thing that can happen is um, they don't they don't run forward. Instead, it just keeps going down straight like so, like so. And instead of growing out and wearing off, first of all, it's going to develop a whole bunch of uh, retained sole in there that will look like live sole, give you a real thick bottom of the sole, but another thing it does is, and this is vital to understand. Okay, you see this foot here, okay? You see this foot, now we know that we want a hoof capsule that fits. Now the wall grows down from here to right here where it joins up with the sole corium and then they travel down to the ground. So we know that from here, to here.
here is only a certain amount of wall that will fit in here. It's not that correct. Okay, so one thing that happens is what we call wall jamming, where due to the hoof being left too long uh, for too long a time, uh, the wall, instead of growing out the bottom and getting worn or trimmed off, okay, gradually it starts to uh, back up and grow up this way to where uh, actually you're adding more wall in between here and here than what the horse is supposed to have and what it's doing is it will jam this coronary band and these bulbs way up in the air so like let's say uh, you had Okay, let's measure this here. Let's say uh, you have um, three and a quarter centimeters of wall that fits in between um, the coronary band right here and where the wall meets the sole. Well, excess wall will jam up into the capsule to where you can have up to five, six centimeters of extra wall in between here and here and th this of course isn't something you can just cut off at the bottom because this is wall that's been added from jamming and growing back up being forced back up into this part of the hoof capsule um, by the loading of the walls and now look at this foot look at the uh, hairline where the hairline would be from here to here look at the angle it's actually at about a 20 degree angle from here. See, you don't see this part. It's covered up by periopal skin. Okay, but from here to here, you have about a 20 degree angle. And uh, uh, not a 30, which I will prove that that is absolutely not so. Because, see, we're measuring the whole foot. We're not just measuring a coffin bone. And I don't know what happened to my coffin bone. I had it here. But anyway... So what happens is what we call wall jamming. And on a lot of horses, what you'll see is the hairline here, instead of going from here at a nice angle down like this, the hairline is can be straight across, or it can be actually go like this. And so um, what we want to do, there are steps we take to get the foot to get rid of that excess wall that's in there. So, again, you got to remember that when you're dealing with foot, you're dealing with two articles. And um, this is basically just a form-fitting shoe of the internal foot. And because um, horses aren't allowed to run around and wear their own feet down at a, con a continuous and even amount, um, they grow long in certain places and then they may not get trimmed totally correctly and different things like that and pretty soon you have a wholly distorted hoof capsule on the foot and some of that distortion is very subtle. Some of it, um, it's happening on the exterior but you may not notice it but it's affecting the interior foot also. <coughs> okay, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so remember, you know, just like this piece of wall here, okay, if it grows too long and then gets whited, it's going to run forward like that. Okay, now this changes the whole weight dynamic of the way this hoof capsule bears the weight of this, of this foot. Now, technically, for the most part, the horn tubules should be at about the same angle see if I had same angle as the pastern bone here see which of these ones kind of are alright 